an article, uh, rather a column, in the Arizona Republic, my paper that I read every day. That I pay for. Uh, written by Montini, who's been writing columns for the Arizona Republic many years. And in it, he's talking about Representative, of course, Republican Trent Franks, who his remarks about comparing abortion to slavery for African Americans. And of course, he's sneering as much as it's possible to sneer at such sentiments. He's denigrating uh, Representative Frank's intelligence, saying that he's an associate of Evan Meekham, who was uh, impeached in Arizona. Now this uh, attitude is very typical of the Arizona Republic, which has been pro-choice ever since 1973, as much of the media is. And this is the kind of denigration that we can expect from any kind of protest about abortion. The Republic, for example, in the years that I've been protesting of the, the legalizing of abortion, I've had one letter, one letter printed since 1973 on this subject, even though I blog about it, I, I do videos on it, have done for many years. I wrote them many letters of protest to what I thought was propaganda that they printed about abortion, promoting it. And you would think that even though Arizona is supposedly a conservative state, they would never really, the editorial page never really changed. So I have to assume the owner, at the, the single owner at that time was uh, extremely left wing in his sentiments. And who knows, who knows why all the papers went pro-choice almost immediately. Because it was legal for one reason. They would, they would steal all the conflicts. But right then, any kind of what could be called religious thinker uh, disappeared from the papers. They were no longer printed. Uh, and in this column, he talking about Representative Franks, he asked Brian Howard, who is the CEO of Planned Parenthood in Arizona, what he thinks of his remark. Planned Parenthood CEO is a good one to ask. <clears throat> so anyway, Representative Frank's idea is that abortion, which is which the black community has availed themselves of in greater numbers than other minorities, the Hispanics with their Catholic uh, backgrounds are not going to use abortion, but. The Democratic Party has been pro-choice and they can't, they will not choose a candidate who doesn't come for pro-choice. They haven't done for a long time. So the African American who is so grateful to the Democratic Party for what they did for civil rights is I think going to be very influenced by what the Democratic Party does and what they think and I'm saying that I think Representative Trent Franks is right when he suggests that abortion for the black community has been pretty devastating. Uh, we have to keep in mind that the more wealthy pro-choice believers are, I would say, addressing the welfare state. And they're not above suggesting to the poor that instead of bringing their children into the world to possibly get on welfare or not have not having jobs. See, we used to hear a great deal in the press about uh, the HUD projects that were uh, riddled by crime, uh, the people that had been on the welfare rolls for years well, instead of what I thought we had to go ahead and address was more jobs for blacks, more jobs for minorities. We had to better their conditions. We had to give them more rights. 
in order for their children not to have to go on welfare them with their with their additional children we had to go in that direction instead of abortion that to me being a violent solution was not the way to go and uh, it would be more difficult yes to encourage everybody to keep their children by limiting abortion as it once was as we once had it in this country but it's been perceived by the the ones who have promoted abortion that that won't contain our population that won't keep our problems with welfare exploding or being beyond what we want to and so i would say there's a good reason for him to say that there's a hostility underlying hostility toward blacks in encouraging abortion for their numbers yeah. i would say that even in slavery times white owners put a higher value on blacks that they owned probably than they certainly did after they were freed and they no longer got anything out of them in fact if we go back in history we'll find that the abuses of blacks was absolutely terrible follow me the freedom the freeing of them from slavery because people had to contrive like the the criminal system contrived to uh, arrest blacks and use them for labor free labor for years and these blacks were treated terribly and they were died in great numbers they were starved and you know when I read some of the history about how blacks were treated after the war Civil War I just can hardly stand it, it it's so terrible so I think that when uh, thinkers who believe that they're doing their best for minorities I don't think the wealthier pro-choice believers are thinking about themselves as availing themselves of abortion. They are thinking about the poor who are apt to ask the government for help. That's the ones that they want to encourage to use the, the service. And they're not going to object if they use it often. They, as long as they, you know, can keep the numbers down. I think that, that this is and the Democratic Party. Now, this is not uh, anything that they're going to talk about, but Representative Franks is talking about it. And if I write a letter uh, underlining my uh, seeing the point that he's trying to make, it will not be published. Nothing that I write to this paper will be published if it's pro-life, and especially if the arguments are very good. They never have been. My arguments never have been published, nor do I think that any other pro-life thinker is going to get their letters published by pro-choice newspapers. Yeah, a minute. So we have to recognize that a certain freedoms we had before legalized abortion have disappeared from our newspapers who are not objective in the way that they handle abortion. Just as this article is not this morning, denigrating his intelligence. My intelligence has been denigrated. I'm a fanatic. I'm everything that's not to be admired just because I'm pro-life.